Yeah, when the world is uh, is rocking with uh, issues, there are so many issues. I keep people talking, the politicians, uh, the parties taking positions, and all the like. And one of these uh, uh, topics or one of these uh, issues is uh, is uh, abortion. And I think it uh, is a very sensitive issue because uh, not only does it uh, involve people in uh, divide people into pro-life and uh, and uh, non-pro-life, and it also brings in the, this uh, idea of, uh, of 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 right. Uh, of rightness or and, and wrongness, this uh, this uh, dichotomies, this polarities. Now I want to know your take on this on this matter. When does life actually begin? And um, is it possible that? Uh, you know, um, that people are either advocating and taking the wrong uh, position for life when they when they when they go uh, when they are for abortion or the wrong position when they when they think abortion should be legalized. And all that, and the churches and the politicians are taking uh, uh, sides. So this this issue is a very thorny one, and it brings in the question of uh, what we call mor- morality, uh, love for life, for God, and all the like. So, what's your take on it? Uh, that's a mess, Charles. Uh, simply put, everything you said, that is a real mess, okay? And so uh, I would walk to the next room from that and all those ideas. And uh, the question basically you ask is, where does life begin? Well, I would let people know that there's no beginning and there's no ending. Life already is, okay? And within this isness that already is, like the air you breathe, you make a choice. Okay, so let's talk about abortion. Let's use abortion as an, as an example. And let's compare it to the American pilots that are bombing these countries overseas and destroying the buildings and the people there. So we have abortion here and we have the bombers over there. Okay, so is, is that the same? Is that the same? So when a person has an abortion, that's a choice. And is it the same as the bombers blowing up people? Is that an abortion too? You see? Is there a difference? So it's choice, isn't it? It's really choice, isn't it? Yeah, because life is. There is no beginning. It's an isness. Even creation. There's no beginning. These are stories you've heard. See, again, keep referring to the old stuff. We are new. It's an isness. And as you focus on the isness and you recognize what the isness is, and this is an endlessness, okay? You just don't, it's like, oh, I get it. You know, no, it's not that, okay? It's, it's an endlessness. It's like looking at the sky. Where does it end? But actually, we have a fake sky here, okay? It's, everything's fake here because you're, you're in the simulator. When you're looking and we say, oh, that's the sky, that ain't the sky. That's an atmosphere, created according to what's on the planet here. The atmosphere does not exist except for the natural environment that's on this planet Earth. That's the only reason we have a sky and an atmosphere. Otherwise, just like at night, it's all black, you see? And we could wake up in the so-called daytime without a sun, and it's just all black. But fortunately, we do have a sun with atmosphere so far, but not for long. So again, what really is abortion? Abortion is choice. 
that's it. All the uh, ideas created around it, the issues, those are foo-foo. You see, issues are really Japanese shoes. And so that's what they say in Japan. Oh, you want some issues? Yeah. Yeah, those are shoes from Japan. So again, the issues that are created here are baloney. They're really baloney. It's choice. And what they've done is they create issues so everybody stays confused, you see, and distorted, and that's how they control them. It's so simple. But again, you get out of this old Old Testament stuff. In the beginning, there was this and that. This is all nonsense. You can see, where is the beginning, okay? You walk around the earth, can you find the beginning? Huh? Can you see it in outer space or at the bottom of the sea? There is no beginning. It's all an isness because it's choice. We have chosen to be in a particular position. In other words, to <clears throat> have a particular position in life so that we can gradually wake up. We're in the big incubator, you might say, uh, the simulator. And through this process, we gradually wake up to recognize right where we're at, the isness life is when we're ready. And so it already, already is. And you simply make choices within the isness. So there are no real issues with abortion. Those are fake issues created to distort the public to get them to react so they can be tap lined. That is the real issue. You like being tap lined? That's a real issue. Ooh, you got issues. You see? So again, it's a choice, isn't it? Yeah. You want to become more aware or you want to stay duh and unaware and subject to all these so called issues and ideas that have been created to keep you trapped and tap lined here. See, the isness is so cool, and with that, everything comes, and you can provide so many endless benefits. So you want to keep catering and following and chasing the nonsense that's here? Go right ahead. It's your choice. It's all choice. And so bombing over there in other countries, uh, that seems to be okay, but gee, we have issues with abortions here, which is really a personal choice. Whatever. It's a little bit funny, isn't it? Now, would somebody on the floor listen to me as I said that? No. I would say that. They'd, I'd get down. And they'd just go back to arguing their issues just like at a town meeting. Because that's just how people are. They just don't want to take the time. They'd just rather argue about issues because everybody has their idea, etc. Does it create a benefit overall for everyone? No. It just gets worse. It gets more infected. It gets worse where everybody hates everybody. Then they go out and peti peti petition. And they make all these funny signs. They've got time to do that. You know, they don't even have time to tend their garden or their farm anymore because they're making these funny signs that, oh, we, we got to go on this demonstration. You know, we're going to march to Washington. It's about 800 miles, but we'll, we'll get there, you know, etc. So, again, this is the earth today. They've purposely kept it all confused so everybody stays confused. And so, uh, you know, we're just trying to make sense of things, create a new position. Who will step up and be real with that? Very few people have the courage to do it. But they will agree to the social structure that's all distorted and screwed up and it's continually poisoning people. That's okay because they need their nine-to-five job. Okay. Sounds like Ace Ventura in... Uh, <laughs> go ahead, uh, Charles. Yeah. <laughs> that's quite... Um, that's quite an answer. <laughs> <laughs> 